Health systems all over the world are currently responding to the COVID-19 outbreak. In the absence of licensed vaccines or therapeutics, infection prevention and control, IPC, is the mainstay preventive measure for healthcare workers and communities. The Ministry of Health of Uganda, in collaboration with the Infectious Disease Institute, IDI, have prepared this training material to provide an understanding of the principles of IPC during the processes of screening, triaging, and management of patients being investigated for COVID or with confirmed COVID-19 disease. In this video, we'll demonstrate the dilution of chlorine in line with cleaning and disinfection within the healthcare setting. Cleaning is used to remove soil and organic matter to render an item aesthetically acceptable, while disinfection is the removal of all pathogens by soaking the equipment in chlorine solution for the required contact time. There are two forms of chlorine. We have the powder and the solution, for example, jig and others. Chlorine can be diluted to 0.5% for disinfection of surfaces, environment, and linen while 0.05 is for washing non-gloved hands. Chlorine solution comes with different strength ranging from 3.8 to 6%. To prepare 0.5% chlorine using 6% solution, we divide the available concentration or the original concentration, which is 6%, by the desired concentration, which is 0.5%, and we subtract one. The answer will be 11. The interpretation is that in 11 parts of water, we add one part of jig. And there we have 0.5% chlorine solution. To prepare 0.05% from 6% chlorine solution, we use the same calculation and we divide 6% by 0.05. Our answer will be 119, implying that in 119 parts of water, we add one part of jig. Be sure to use the same size of the instruments or cups, jugs or measuring cylinder. It is advised that you should always check on what strength you have before you begin the mixing process. It is also important to prepare all the equipment needed before mixing the solutions. The supplies needed include an apron, a mask, goggles, heavy duty gloves, gum boots, a jerry can of 20 liters of water, a star, labels, and a marker. The three bucket system is used to decontaminate medical instruments that are from use in the patient area, whether they are soiled or not, to remove organic matter. The three buckets are used for three different reasons. In the first bucket, we have soap and water in which the medical instruments are soaked and washed to remove visible organic matter. In the second bucket, we have 0.5% chlorine in which the instruments are soaked for 10 minutes. In the third bucket, we have clean water in which the instruments are rinsed before they are thoroughly dried and taken for sterilization. Mm -hmm. 